are bilberries. These are bilberry bushes. I'm surrounded by them here. I'm on the side of a mountain on the edge of a forest somewhere in northeast Wales. I'm not going to tell you exactly where because this is possibly one of the best bilberry patches in North Wales, if not Wales. And it's a bit of a local secret, so I'm not going to give it away. But you'll find these bushes on upland areas, anywhere that you find heather and gorse and other plants like that growing, uh, you'll find uh, bilberries or you, in the UK. Uh, you don't tend to find them in the southeast of England, uh, but you do find them right down in the southwest in Dartmoor and Exmoor. In fact, I remember there was a documentary survival show thing on the BBC in the 1970s where they, they stranded a load of people on Exmoor and one of the things they did was well they spent a lot of time going around looking for bilberries and yeah that's no surprise because there's a really strong cultural association up and down the UK with bilberries or whortleberries or windberries as they're sometimes called or if you're in Scotland you probably know them as blaeberries. In a lot of villages there'll be sort of a traditional day or a period or a week where families go out to pick bilberries. I know in Shropshire and on the edge of the Long Mind there there used to be uh, used to be able to get a day off school or days off school to go and pick bilberries with your family and then those bilberries will be taken off sent off down to dyers for fabric and that kind of thing. Anywhere where you find bilberries growing in quantity if you speak to people in the local villages there they probably have a family connection with picking bilberries of some kind um, and they taste great they're they're a relative of the blueberry they're not quite the same they're a bit smaller and there's something called a, a, a cowberry which is um, which is a little bit pinker and a little bit softer um, which doesn't tend to be as common uh, particularly not in England and Wales um, but they are around and yeah they're really distinctive really easy to spot as I say look out for the heather and gorse and then look for the slightly serrated oval leaves and then the berry is a real giveaway there's nothing that grows in that environment that's like it that you need to worry about. I use them a lot with alcohol and uh, I uh, gather good quantities and add it to even quite cheap alcohols and vodkas and things like that and make uh, liqueurs with them which we then drink all winter. Um, make jams which is another good way of preserving them. Um, you can freeze them or you can actually dry them and you can leave them out in the sun for a week if you've got good uh, solid sunshine and you can dry them out and preserve them that way. Um, or just freeze them and they will last quite a long time in the freezer then you can do something with them uh, so yeah treat them like small blueberries small wild blueberries and yeah you can do a lot with them just beware they will stain your fingers and I think in Yorkshire the pies made from bilberries are called mucky mouth pies or something like that it's easy to see why but it's definitely worth the staining thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time